Hi, in this video we will tell you what proof of work is, what it is for, and where proof of work is used. Proof of work is a consensus algorithm used to prevent 51% attack or double spending. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin use consensus POW to validate the transaction, create a new block, and add them to the blockchain. We will tell you about all these and more in this video. So watch carefully, it will be interesting. Modern cryptocurrencies have some differences in mining principles, features and other parameters. Often this is all due to the difference in the algorithm of data processing. The main extraction of electronic coins and the disclosure of blocks is made by miners, who are rewarded for their work. This remuneration is occurred to a certain participant of the information processing who was able to check the required number of transactions, assemble a new information block from this data and connect it to the common circuit. Cryptocurrency developers had to create a tool that would help protect against various abuses, such as uncontrolled coin production and block formation without verification. Special mechanisms were developed to confirm the proofs made. There are several algorithms used in different cryptocurrencies. Their basis is to solve a mathematical problem with a high level of complexity, but is quite solvable. At the same time, verification of the solution should be much easier and faster than the solution process itself. One of the most widespread algorithms in proof-of-work, which is used in many electronic coins with leading positions in the world ranking. The history of the appearance of this mechanism dates back to 1993. It was created in order to protect users from spam in emails. At that time, the word combination that exists today did not exist yet, but the principle itself had already been developed. The name proof of work did not appear until 1999, and for the first time in practice, POW was used in 1997. The reason for launching it was all the same spam. When the creator of Bitcoin was faced with the problem of introducing extra protection, the choice of the system was obvious. He used a specified algorithm, which has already been working in the Hashcash project for some time, and it successfully proved its effectiveness and efficiency. To calculate the hash function was used SAJ256, the former leader in 2008. This algorithm is used to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that are based on it. Here it is required to pick up the block title hash. It consists of the hash of the previous block as well as the transaction block. The hash starts with some zeros. The solution to this problem is proof of block finding. Taking into account the fact that the non-reversible hash function is involved here, the problem can only be solved using the standard brute force method. This satisfies all requirements because the problem becomes difficult enough to solve and the check is as simple and fast as possible. One of the most important nuances of the functioning of the algorithm, which is used in the blockchain, becomes the mechanism of actively changing the complexity of the task set. Even though the anti-spam mechanism is built in the same way, the complexity of the solution in it is constant. If we remove the dynamic change of complexity from proof-of-work, the issuance of cryptocurrency becomes uncontrollable. This is due to the increase in the overall computing power of the chain, which will inevitably lead to the issuance of a very large number of coins. By constantly changing the complexity, leading to an increasing complexity, it is possible to make the average search time for solutions around 10 minutes, despite the increasing power of the network. Due to the monotony of the tasks in the matching method, the complexity is regulated by the number of zeros at the beginning of the hash. This situation leads to an increase in the resource cost of finding a solution. Too high energy intensity of the task created the conditions for the search for a new algorithm. Proof of stake became an alternative, where it is necessary to prove the fact of possession of a cryptocurrency instead of calculations. The algorithm provides quite a high degree of security for the operation of the circuit. It is enough to restrain the constant growth of the number of nodes and the rapid development of miners' equipment power. Thus, if someone decides to launch an attack on this blockchain, they need to have most of the processing power of the entire network. This is theoretically possible, but not feasible in practice. 
it is required to grow to 51% of the total, which is a very large number. If an attacker achieves this value, he can get almost all new coins without taking the rest into account. Even assuming that someone decides to invest in the hardware to reach 51% capacity and conduct an effective attack, it will prove to be economically disadvantageous for the fraudster himself. Chain attacks are also possible to conduct double spending, which is done with forks. This does not require controlling much of the chain's power, but it also requires a lot of resources, which makes this type of fraud unprofitable. Attackers need to maintain the fork long enough for it not to depreciate. It's almost impossible to do this on your own. The main problem with this algorithm is that the calculations become more complex over time. Even with modern technical equipment, with a lot of power, mining is quite slow and energy consuming. Consequently, users have to constantly invest in new equipment as well as keep an eye on the energy costs because at some point they may turn out to be higher than the mining fees. Adding new blocks becomes too expensive for users. It should be noted that various projects were opened that sought to make good use of the too high energy costs from the mining farms. One such project was a heat house. All this did not become very popular, so the application of the algorithm is still energy consuming. This disadvantage sometimes turns out to be that the miner spends his resources without getting anything in return. The peculiarity of the algorithm is that the reward of the found block is received only by the node that was able to solve the problem. Thus, the others do not get the reward, and their spent energy resources are not recouped. This applies not only to consumption of electricity, but also to the operating life of the equipment. For ordinary miners who try to do everything on their own and even invest in the development of farms, the proof-of-work algorithm becomes unprofitable for work. This situation turns out to be one of the main disadvantages, contrary to the basic principle of cryptocurrency decentralization. Mining resources are concentrated in the largest companies that influence the development of the market. Although algorithms are created that interfere with ASIC miners, this has little effect. The principle is one of the earliest, so it can be found in a large number of modern cryptocurrencies. It is not present predominantly in cases where the system does not provide for the issuance of additional tokens, which indicates the presence of the entire number of coins in the network. Also, Proof of work is not applied in centralized blockchains. It is worth noting that even when choosing alternative algorithms to protect the chain, many developers from the beginning used exactly POW as a reliable and proven method. Earlier, when cryptocurrencies were just developing and they were not that popular, mining on this algorithm was available to almost everyone who possessed powerful modern equipment. A few years ago, the situation turned in such a way that singles got out of this business due to impracticality. Costs exceeded revenues, as it became almost impossible to open a new block due to the competition with large associations. Cryptocurrency mining using this algorithm is predominantly done by large pools and data centers. There is only a relatively the small number of valuable electronic coins that are mined with ASIC miner protection. But they are of no interest to large miners. These are isolated cases where miners can mine something without a pool. The most famous cryptocurrency that is used on proof of work is Bitcoin. This is one indicator that the algorithm works reliably, and no one has yet managed to beat Bitcoin in reliability or popularity. Almost all of the basics of the validation principle remain in all other cryptocurrencies in the same form as they are implemented in Bitcoin. This applies not only to coins that appeared after the original currency's hard forward, but also to those that were created as independent from the very beginning. Their developers simply decided not to take the risk and use the existing developments which have been proven by several years of use. Ethereum cryptocurrency ranks second in the overall ranking of cryptocurrencies in the world. It also applies this principle, although the developers are going to move away from it soon. A dash is applied here, with which contains certain differences, but the basic essence of communication does not change here. The transition plan should pass gradually, and at first, the hybrid system of proof of work and proof of stake will be used for confirmation. Then everything will switch to proof of stake. This transition should help keep hard forks out later on. The 
Monero cryptocurrency also uses this algorithm. But there is protection from ASIC mining. This is one example where such protection is successfully implemented. It has developed its protocol called Cryptonite. This allows you to use the built-in CPU instructions. Applying them to the technique with fast memory and weak frequency will be quite costly. The effectiveness of this cryptocurrency application depends not only how well the algorithm is developed, but also on the extremely high confidentiality of all transactions in the blockchain. It is almost impossible to track transactions here. The main advantage of POW lies in its reliability. This allows the consensus algorithm to remain relevant today, despite its longevity and the problems that arise. Developer is looking to introduce something new, still use proof of work to distribute tokens in the initial stages. All that said, it's too early to think about completely replacing the algorithm. It's more likely that the system will become hybrid in the future as the basic principles will remain the same, but innovations will be added to them, aimed at correcting major shortcomings. Experts believe that as long as Bitcoin's blockchain proof of work will remain relevant. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos.